why it always looks dark. But, uh, yeah, I just do Periscope. I just do Periscope cause so I can chat with people. Uh, I say it's easy just to film this on YouTube and then read comments after the fact, but I'm just trying to get some live interaction with people. So you're always relying on a good signal, which is beyond my control. So places like this, it's best just to uh, do it on me, uh, record it on my phone, I think, and upload it to YouTube will be easier. Because we're not enjoying the walk and we're keeping on about uh, picture quality all the time. So, And it's not working, so I say this is all the nice places I want to bring you, so just have to... Uh, Find some places where we can uh, we've got a signal, and it's always uh, it's always <laughs> it's always the, the, the sort of uh, what I usually get is uh, when I go somewhere that's really really spectacular and everybody's busy, and then everybody comes on when I'm somewhere that's a bit mundane and boring. <laughs> I thought this would be a nice place to get the viewers in. And then they love the a forest. I was just hoping I'd get Roland or Darby or Marco in and say, where the hell are we? <laughs> I come in the middle of nowhere. I mean, technically I am in the middle of nowhere. But I'm just a uh, half a mile from the, the car park. So it's nice and quiet at the back. I'll just explore around the back, see if there's a, see if there's a signal. And obviously it's very quiet, so does feel very on, on, ominous. Just hoping to get uh, some live call in to uh, let me know how the picture is because uh, if it's worth keep uh, filming on Periscope or just put my phone away, save me battery if you can't see me. Where are we? Who's that? Hello Patricia. Patricia with me. If you want to call in and have a chat? Let me know how the picture's looking. Right, let's try and work out where we are, which path we want to go on. I think my knees are saying I want to rest. <laughs> I'll make our way back down slowly now. Himalayan walk to the to the fish pool, I think that's it. Oh, cracking, that's a steep bank. I've already been up there. Oh, this is Helen Lane Walk. This is where the stairs were. That was it. This is where all the stairs had to come up. Yeah, there should be the sound of water. Shall I go down the stairs, then up the stairs? Or... I was just trying to think what I want to do. So if the trouble is if we go down here, there'll probably be no reception before the water's frozen. The sound and picture is really good. All right. I'm cold. <laughs> oh, cold. Trying to, uh, trying to be, uh, just trying to, just concerned about picture quality. If you can, see, if you can see me, because the thing is, my end, you see, it says zero viewers. So I don't know if that's because nobody's watching or the, uh, the connection's gone. You see, so it's sort of uh, better when I have a few call, have a call in some irregulars and uh, they let me know how the picture is. I just had Marco on a bit earlier. It's disappeared. No sign of Derby or Roland or anybody else yet. Let's have a lot of wander around here. I don't really need to say I don't really want a lot of stairs today, so I might just go the way with no stairs. We'll just go the way with no stairs. It's only the second time I've been here, I'm just going to be, uh, just going to be bearings with the, all the paths that you can go on. Just trying to avoid the, uh, just trying to avoid all the stair, the steps. Right, 
to my thigh down there. So I can see. Yeah, it's just so strange, I see Patricia, when you, you just live stream to the world and you think there's only one person watching, where's, where's everybody? <laughs> oh, bird boxes fell off. The tree's been cut down. It's just like a nature reserve, so I thought we'd hear more bird sounds and see squirrels and I thought, oh, we'll see squirrels and birds. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're all <laughs> they're all like the viewers. They're all uh, they're all slipping in. That's all the all the barks come off that tree. Just like a nature reserve. I thought we'd see more wildlife. I've seen no squirrels. It's just silence. Listen, silence. Trying to make our way down to where that water is. I think my knees are saying I don't want any more stairs, so we'll just make our way down this path and then we'll have a little look at the water. Obviously we're in the we're in the countryside, so you can the, the, the signal's gonna be hit and miss. It's just so frustrating when you're trying to stream something. You can get perfect picture, then obviously you you just have to try and find a spot where it's clear and then not move, but it's too cold to stand still. This is the place you need to come in the summer where you can you can find a good good signal and then not move. <laughs> You've got to keep moving because it's very chilly. I said we've got daylight till about five o'clock, so half past five. We're on uh, half past three UK time. We're on half past three. So I'm going to leave at half past four. I've got to give myself another hour just to explore. Let's have a little wander around. This will just try and enjoy the silence. I said, what, a minute ago, there was loads of people about. I think they've just, uh, they've all gone home now. It's amazing. Uh, this is like, imagine yourself, it's just like this place. I've drove past, I've drove past this place hundreds of times. And it's just sort of like uh, half a mile up a road, like a main road that I've passed many, many times. And I uh, could have been here before, so I thought, ooh, somewhere else to have a, somewhere else to have a walk when there's not much else to do. And we'll just make our way down, slowly down. It's basically on a big steep bank, so I've probably got good signal at the back. And obviously we're just going to, we're just slowly going down to the... Um, the front now, so I'm just trying to work out where the path is. Ooh, someone's made like a, a house out of uh, out of twigs. Ooh, I've got hearts coming up. <laughs> I'll send hearts, so you know. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Patricia. Yeah, that'll help some hearts or comments or anything. Yeah, nice to see the hearts. Now I know I've got a signal. Yeah, somebody's built this house out of wood. Right. Oh, you just feel like that in the middle of the middle of a forest, you know, you know, you know, miles and miles from civilization. Just disorientates you when you you that used to being on the the traffic roads where the traffic is. I mean, it's only it's only about ten minutes walk back to the main road. I don't think there's places like this in the, where I live. I say I live right next to a little park where you can see swans and ducks and squirrels. And I bet this will be nice in the summer. Perhaps you'll see more wildlife about. It just seems like they're all asleep, like the uh, periscope viewers. I've seen a few, a few birds. Very quiet. Everything's in hibernation. Everything's in hibernation. Trying to do about an hour's walk. Trying to fill up an hour of exercise. 
where I am. Just going a little walk down here. Yeah, one minute there's loads of people here. I saw about a dozen people all walking the dogs. And I haven't got a dog to walk, so I'm just uh, I'm just walking myself, exploring the uh, exploring the paths. Uh, yeah, it's unusual. Just got Patricia in. Nobody else is watching. Nobody else in. I miss you on my regulars. He's never. I miss me. Could come in any second now. You just never know. Obviously, it's the surprise of. People just pop in, it doesn't, you don't make an appointment, <laughs> just pop on and pop off. Uh, so I don't want to get too detailed into the history of the place. Because uh, I don't know if there's some people who are really interested. There's a lot of history behind all these places I go to. I need to investigate, but I have to do like a proper video on my phone, do some research. It's all to do with hydroelectric power, I think. Oh, there's some birds over there. Yeah, I think everything's asleep today. There's a boathouse. It's like a little piece of water. It's all frozen. I think people do fish here. There's like a... You can see like places where the... Uh, places where the fishermen can go. It's like a frozen lake. Yeah, it's always the fun of trying to find uh, find reception when you're in these country places. But I'm quite high up, so there should be a signal. I'm near to it. I never, I just uh, don't know where the um, where the what do you call it the uh, the masts are. I just thought, that's why I didn't come. I thought, oh, there'll be no signal there. It's in the middle of nowhere. But I'm on the best. I'm on the best network for. For signal anyway. I should be on. I'm on 4G. I'm on the best network for the for the rural location. Oh yeah, I said there's no wildlife. There's a. I think I just saw a squirrel. It's a squirrel. It's disappeared. I'm surprised I've seen more people about. There's a squirrel gone. It's soon disappeared. It's so weird when you go these uh, different walking places. You get like very tame squirrels that'll take nuts out of your hands and very tame swans and ducks. And then some you sit to try and feed them and they just run away so they mustn't be used to uh, they mustn't be used to uh, humans. I'm just imagining just I'm just walking around. Obviously, I can't go across how the how cold it is. <laughs> all the water it makes you cold, and you see all this uh, all this. Uh, hello, keep dreaming. Yeah, me frozen. My legs all frozen. Yeah, just having a brisk nature walk. Hopefully I've got some viewers coming in. Yeah. I'm trying to get away the feeling of trying to go home because it's that cold. I'm just I'm trying to complete me uh, just try and complete me walk, show you this new place I'm at. I'm just hoping I'll get Roland or Darby or Marco pop in. I can have a chat. Anybody wants to call in? chat. It does help take your mind off the cold. <laughs> when you have cold ends you're not thinking about the cold. And then when you're walking without the cold ends you notice you're like you're thinking about it. <sighs> oh it's all frozen. Yay, nice.
Yeah, if you want to look some more information up, I think it's called Biddulph Grange Country Park. And it's got a lot of, uh, I don't know how long it's been here. I'll have a little wander down here. It feels like a nice piece of, uh, I'm trying to think where the path is, I think I've missed it now. There's a, there's a path to get back to the, uh, it's basically the source of the River Trent, because I live in Stoke-on-Trent, and this is uh, this is apparently the, the start of the River Trent, the source of it, where we are now. Just trying to find where that path is. It's basically a valley where there's like a, like a, a stream, and that's supposed to be where the River Trent starts, in this location we're in. Just thought we should be able to see more birds and squirrels and see a few birds, no robins, see no robins this last few weeks. We'll just go back in here to try and record the sound of running water. We'll go back down where the water is. It's down this way. Oh, where are we? Yeah, it's just cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gives it away when I show you the... Uh, the lake's all frozen. Oh, yeah. I think there's only so much the body can take, you see. I'm like, I'm out every day, and it's so. I've been trying to periscope every day. And we've had quite a bit of a cold snap in the UK this week. Past few weeks, it's been, uh, say, it's been about zero for about a week or two. So I think we're just not used to being. British people aren't used to the prolonged cold spells. Oh. Well, I just thought I'd motivate myself to do some. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's another path up here. Let's go have a wander up here. See where this path goes. I say I'll just warn you about signal. Obviously, I don't know what signal will be like. We've got like a. It might come and go. It might be perfect one minute and then it might go all blocky. This is the river. Start the river, Trent. So if everybody can just keep giving me hearts or comments just so I know I'm connected to somebody. <laughs> if, it, if I do disappear, I'll try and reconnect. I'm just in a rural location, so. So we can get to the sound of water for you. So I find where the best signal is. Feel the eyes. Ooh. Yeah, just usually have me, like, me regular call ins, like let like me know that picture, like Marco Darby and uh, Roland. It's a call then, but over to weekend. I just thought there'd be more available, but. They haven't popped out. I've had Marco on this morning. So it's uh, it's a problem with the timer on, you see. Obviously, uh, it just restricts. I think a lot of the viewers are in America, so obviously trying to do the... It's hard to do the streams really late. Uh, also, we're doing it about... To, I think I have to do it about midnight in England for trying to get the maximum viewers. So if you just help to... Just help me to build my channel. I'm just struggling with many viewers live, really. Just trying to share it out and uh, see if you share it out to your followers, retweet or I've already shared it on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube this morning. So uh, I say I enjoy the call-ins because. Uh, say I do these walks on my own there's nobody to to join me on my walk so that's what started me periscoping all my walks I started walking a lot in lockdown so it's been nearly I don't know how many I've done about 500 I think I've done 500 scopes in the past about to eight months I've done one every day I think I should be at 500 soon 
and then obviously I don't know why I'm moving forward. I've just had to renew my contract with the the mobile people. Uh, I've just renewed my contract for 12 months, so I can keep on periscoping. Yeah, the problem is if you get right to the back, it's a lot of stairs and there's lots of stairs. I don't want any stairs. Hurst Road, there we are. Hurst Road. Yeah, I'm not sure. Patricia, I'm just on the fence at the moment. It's not the best platform for people like me at the moment, you know, the out outdoor, the outdoor walking people. I just keep popping on there. I keep doing the odd, I keep doing the odd broadcast. I keep doing the odd broadcast, but the, it's getting better. It's getting better. You know, obviously it's, it's not going to, you're trying to always compare it with Periscope and they're not trying to, they're not trying to remake Periscope. They're not trying to remake Periscope, so they just said they're just going to do it their way. But, uh, any Periscope's got its flaws. But it's just easy to use. I like the heart system. It lets you know that people are enjoying the broadcast. Oh, there's some more. Oh, it's a lot of banks. Oh. Ah, up and up. Yeah, it's basically like a country park that's on like a it's on like a slope, so you've got up banks and then you've got down banks. Yeah, it's just like we're in limbo at the moment, like the viewers and the broadcasters. I'm obviously a lot of the the well known broadcasters have just gone straight over to Haps, but when I look at the Haps, what people are doing on Haps, it just looks like Zoom meetings, you know, where they just there's like six faces talking to each other. And obviously that's no use for what I'm doing. I'm just a nature scoper and outdoor scoper and nature and heritage and I've just dabbled in it, so to speak. I've dabbled. I've done a few. I've done a few streams on there. Oh wow! Where's all this path go? There's paths everywhere. Paths everywhere. Where's this path go? I thought I'd done all the paths. This is another path. I'm just wondering where this path goes. I'm trying to get to the head of the. Uh, the water. I'm trying to show you the, you know, where this path's going. I think it just keeps climbing and climbing. Oh, where this path's going. Yeah, I just I just like the call-ins with Periscope. That's that's what I enjoy. I get a lot of uh, I enjoy the call-ins, and obviously with Haps, if I pop. I can still do Twitter Live. That's basically the same as Periscope. So, I mean, really, it's just Twitter Live because that's because they just all they're doing is they're not getting rid of Periscope. They're just integrating it into Twitter Live. So, it doesn't know it's going anywhere. It's just been integrated into into Twitter. So, everybody's jumping to Haps as if it's going completely. It's just been integrated into Twitter, so obviously Haps has just popped along and uh, people are just trying it, and I'm not really happy with it, so each to their own. It's one good thing about it does, you know, obviously Haps can, it's a bit like you can send your broadcast out to all the platforms simultaneously, I know it does that. So you can send it out to, I think Twitch has just been added. We've got Twitch, Facebook, Twitter and Periscope and YouTube. Oh, there's a road there. That's the road. 
you could get dropped off here. It's like a, it's like a proper road. It's a proper road at the back. I, I was just trying to wonder where I am now. Can I can't go anywhere else. I mean, I use the bylaws. No cycling, no climbing, no camping, no fires, no trading, no shooting. Do not obstruct any drain or water course. Do not pollute any water. No swimming and no boating. Staffordshire Moorlands. Fixed penalty for poop. No poop. Right, so where's this path go? Where's this path go? You just start following these paths and you don't know where. I'm almost right at the top of the valley now. I don't know if it's easy to get down to the bottom or not. Let's see how high up I am. I'll be careful I don't to careful you don't slip. I just wonder where this path takes me. I don't know where the path's taking me. I just want to go back to that path where that chap is down there. But the problem is, I think this is where I'll get my signal, so I think I'll get no signal if I drop down into the valley down there, so. You can see the water just flows along there. Yeah, I think this is the source of the, uh, yeah, I don't think you, I think this is just the top entrance. I've just, I've just come up this way for nothing. The quality's probably okay up here. Costa Cup. This is where you just need like a hot drink now. Yeah, this is the road at the back and this is a, the top entrance I think. It's basically on like a slope so it's basically like a big slope. Uh, let's go back down. See how we go with picture quality at the bottom. Probably obviously the higher up we are the better the picture will be so I'll just recheck the quality. I mean, it's a bit warm eh? <laughs> I'll have to try and do the, trying to film all this on my phone because I think there's some parts of it I won't be able to uh, to get reception. But uh, yeah, I've been used to uh, call-ins in the week where obviously I thought I automatically think, oh, they probably, they'll be obviously not tied up with work today, but they've got other things to do. So it just works back to front for Periscope. I thought there'd be more chance of people coming being available. Obviously I just think all people do is work. <laughs> there is other things to do. Yeah, it's one good thing about this path is this would be really dangerous if it was muddy. Because obviously it's uh, if it was muddy it's very easy to slip and uh, injure yourself. It's just good at the moment while it's all it's all frozen. Yeah I just come up this path because I thought it was going to take me somewhere to get nearer to the uh, to the water and it's not so that was a waste of time coming up this path oh. I'm just trying to get closer to the sound of the water for you let's go further down oh. just hard to think straight when it's that cold I think my mind's your thought processes start slowing down when it's cold. My teeth aren't chattering yet. I've got me, I've got my gloves on and me, me hat. This is where you really want a nice hot drink. I just come up this path. I thought this is what will take me to the water, where the water is. Hello, trapper keeper. Larry's in. I follow someone going to Discord. I haven't been on Discord. Yeah, it's all up in the air at the minute. Nobody really. I mean, everybody's just jumping on apps. That's all they're all saying. A lot of the big, the big, the ones with lots of followers are going on apps. But I don't know where the best place is for the nature scopers. The ones who scope outside, you know, the nature, the nature people. I well, say, so if you give me a follow. And check out me scroll back on some of my periscopes there's lots of interesting ones 
I don't just sort of show like my face and just keep waffling. I'm just basically, I've done loads of lo local walks and show you the history and the nature and the heritage of where I am in the potteries in Stoke-on-Trent. And obviously I'm just limited what I can show you at the moment. But everywhere's closed. Just lots of nature walks. Right. Yeah, I say it's got it's it's like saying, oh yeah, it is nice in the winter. But I think this will be more pleasant when it's a bit warmer. <laughs> it's good to have a nature walk in the cold. But obviously, uh, at least I know in England we're not going to be cold all the time. At least we have you know, uh, at least we have a little bit of variety to the uh, Oh, that is a road actually, yeah. You can get dropped off at the back and then make your way to the front. It's like a road right at the back. But, uh, yeah, just have me join me call-ins in the week. I have Darby and Marco and Roland Pops on. And then, uh, I'll have to try and come here in the week because when I come in the, the week, I, the places to come at the weekend always seem the most uh, ambitious and you have the least amount of viewers in so I'll have to keep me uh, I'll have to keep these big places to do in the week really because uh, so my main viewers are the ones it's like three viewers who uh, sort of work from home so I'll probably run some errands today use the uh, catch me before they start the start the job yeah, I'll have to probably stop leaving the ex go to the extravagant places at the weekend if there's nobody for watch live if that's what I do I do periscope really for live obviously I'll get a lot of I don't know if it's people who just deliberately don't watch the live you know I have a lot of replay viewers but It's all about the live, in my opinion. So I know I can go live on YouTube as well. I can go live on any platform, really. I can go live on Twitch or Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, but it's if anybody's watching, you know. You've all got to start somewhere. But uh, I was enjoying Periscope. I just thought the the current situation wouldn't be still going on. So it's just I'm running out of places to. Uh, get interested about myself and to show the viewers and I've obviously just come across this bridge and tied myself out tied myself out getting all up there for it just be a, a sort of dead end so anyway that's my fault this is old bridge it's like a very old bridge I just wanted this is the path I wanted just to show you the water uh, hopefully the so we'll just probably go to the top of this this little path and then we'll turn back. And that's been man-made somehow. Somebody's made that bridge. Should have a nice sound of water now for a bit. Let's just get my timing right. I'd say I'll just finish at about, uh, about half an hour. Less than half an hour. Just have a little wander up here. That's used up some of my time by... Uh, Let's just use up some, some of my time getting up that path to nowhere, so this is where I should have gone up. Just wanted a nice sound of water for us all to listen to. Yeah, I think we've just got you and Patricia. I'm broadcasting to the world and I've just got Patricia in. <laughs> Where's everybody? I don't think anybody's watching Periscope, I don't think, anymore. I think, they're, I think we're, there's that many places you can live stream to. I think that's the problem. It's, a, it's like a poly. There's that many places you can, you can live stream on. 
I throw on TikTok or on the, I think I'll have them on TikTok and Instagram. And we just need one that's, uh, I mean, this is what Periscope's supposed to be for, really. I mean, Periscope isn't, is, uh, Everything's, I say everything's, perhaps it's good for some things, but not for this really. Uh, they are working on the mobile side of it, but uh, I mean, Periscope's good for just sharing what nature walks and dog walks. Haps is more like Zoom meetings. I've noticed a lot of people just seem to still uh, invite each other in. You've just got like six faces that you're listening to talking about subjects. And then we'll see. Yeah, just moving forward, it'll be Twitter Live or, or Haps or one or the other. Obviously, the, we know Periscope's going, so it'll be Twitter Live or Haps. And then any other option. <laughs> Let's have the sound of water down here. Yeah, I've just gone the long, wrong path now. That's uh, took me reserves of energy. Going all up that path for nothing. This is where I wanted to go along the sound of water. This is where I wanted to go. I've just got to try and get me here. Yeah, we found a bird. I found a bird. Yeah. Oh. I say it's hard, it's hard to motivate yourself, Patricia, when obviously you're not getting like a little click of people, you know. It's, I know you're bro broke, you're watching me. But, you know, so. It's, uh, I just expected there'd be more viewers than just, you know, expected all sort of, no, you know, nobody's going to be happy with one viewer, you know, when they're just trying to build the channel up, but oh, I don't know what else I can do. I can just keep, I just keep broadcasting every day and uh, I know people will just tell me in the comments or say Periscope's dying, but I mean, I could be broadcasting on Twitter live, you know. It doesn't really matter. Because I can uninstall Periscope and if I go live on Twitter live, it'll still, uh, it'll still come on Periscope even if you haven't got it installed. So, it's, uh, I just hope I've got a signal while I keep walking up this uh, water just to just use me a bit of energy up to go up that slope. I just thought when I went up that slope, it would let me come to the top of this uh, water bit. I was hoping that path was going to bring me out at the top of this, this water path, uh, the stream path, and then I was just going to come all the way back as I've obviously got now. I've got to go up to the top of here and then go up a load of stairs or just come back down. So we'll have to do that because oh yeah, there's a waterfall. Let's hope you can see this waterfall before my signal might cut off. Yeah, I think what I'll do, I think what I'll do, Patricia, is if I get to the top of here, oh yeah, there's some uh, information.
Yeah, I thought just because the picture might not be perfect, I'll, uh, I think I'll end the stream at the top of here and then I'll film all this on my phone as I come back down. So I've got HD on my phone, then I'll, uh, I'll put it on YouTube. Make sure you follow me, on, follow me on Twitter and YouTube and Instagram. There's a post photos on Instagram, Jason Who, YouTube, Jason Who. And uh, obviously I'd rather get it in high definition and then put it on YouTube for people to watch. Yeah, it looks like old man, this looks like old man made, this does. It's got like a, a valve there. Some sort of man made structure. Yeah, let's see where this path goes. That nice sound of water. I think this would be worth getting in HD, I think. As I walk back down, because I'm not going to go up. <laughs> I mean, basically, what you're supposed to do, I think, is walk up all this path. And then you've got to climb out of the valley. And uh, then come back. I think all I can do now is I'll get to the top of here and then I'll. Uh, I don't want to. I'm not sure about the quality, so I'll do HD all the way back down and then put that on there, YouTube, in case it's a bit hit and miss the quality. It's getting quite cold now, so call it a day in a minute. Nice to have you and Patricia but it's hard to keep doing a long scope just for one person watching live. So uh, thanks for joining me and I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Check out my replays. I've got lots to go through and uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter to get updates in the future. I say I'm on Haps and YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and Twitch and Facebook. Just chase the hill on everything. And I'll, uh, I'm not going to climb up those stairs, no way. So I'm going to finish it here and then I'll go back down the way I've just come and record it with my phone, I think. So it's nice and clear. Uh, now Patricia thanks for watching I'll finish now make sure you follow me on all the channels everybody if you'd like to support the channel well, I'm talking to Patricia I think anybody else and Patricia if you'd like to support the channel and keep me motivated in the cold British weather I am I've got an external link on buymeacoffee.com forward slash chase who if you'd like to support the channel it would be much appreciated I'm just on my way to buy a hot coffee now because it's uh, it's very cold and my brain's saying I've had enough now. So we'll make our way back to the car park. I'll just finish up on Periscope now and film it all with me uh, in HD on my phone. Bye for now, everybody. Stay safe. See you on the next one.